Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back looking at some new pieces from NYX and specifically a NYX and the Birds Papaya collaboration piece. And if you are as big of a fan of Sarah Nicole as I am, you will know we're talking about the Birds Papaya Faux Leather Leggings. Now the ones that I'm wearing right now are actually the original released ones from a few years ago. I really wanted to do a little bit of a compare and contrast to see, one, if you already own the original leggings, is it worth buying this new upgraded version? There are supposed to be a lot of improvements to the design, more like sculpting, thumb lifting. It's supposed to be like all around a better design and also better fabric fabric that doesn't fall apart as quickly. And two, just in general, do I think that they are going to be as cute for this fall as they were the fall that they were released. As we know, trends come and go, so we can talk about that a little bit as well. So like I said, these are the original leggings. I have had these for years now. I have seen countless complaints online that their original Birds Papaya leggings fell apart or the coating because these are like a faux leather that has a coating on it that makes it look really shiny. A lot of people have said that their coating falls off over time. That has not happened to mine, and I attribute that to very, very careful laundry. I used to be somebody who only bought clothes if they could go in the washer, in the dryer, on normal settings. I threw everything in together, and then as I got older and ruined a couple pieces of clothing that I really, really liked, I realized that that is not the best way to make clothes last a long time. And I don't ever want to be seen as somebody who like buys something, wears it once and never wears it again. I want to be able to wear my stuff until it breaks, until it literally tatters. So to do that, I make sure that I'm very, very careful with laundry wash instructions. I know this is boring, but bear with me. To keep anything like this, these like faux leather leggings alive, I do still wash them in the washing machine, but on a gentle cycle in cool water, and I always lay them flat to dry. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen stories where my house just basically looks like a graveyard of clothes. There's just clothes laying everywhere perfectly flat on every hard surface floor I have. It's because I make sure I really, really pay attention to those care instructions because I want my stuff to last a really long time. So with that being said, my original papaya leggings still look really good. So let's just look at them. And this is of course one of the Lux Lift tanks from NYX because I love those as well. And I do wanna preface this by saying all the stuff that I'm gonna show off here so both the papaya leggings, and I also have a pair of the thigh saver shorts that I'm going to show as well. I paid for all of these with my own money. I did not receive them for free. I am not being compensated by NYX in any way for this, but I will have a discount code down in the description box where you can save a little bit of money and I make a small commission off of that if you decide to use it. So just get that disclosure out of the way. So these leggings obviously come up quite high. They are a pretty thick waistband and they are this very, very shiny faux leather material. Incredibly shiny. I would compare them to the Spanx faux leather leggings in terms of appearance. And just for comparison's sake, I also have a pair of the Crackle leggings from Airy. I think these were also from about two to three years ago, but they still make stuff like this every year. And you'll see that these papaya leggings, at least the OG ones, were much, much shinier. These look like a little bit more beat up, roughed up, and they have not lasted very well at all. Even though I'm very careful with them, they just are a significantly cheaper product. So when I first got these leggings, I would say I mostly wore them with big oversized sweaters, oversized tees. I do think that will still look trendy and cute this year. And in terms of like what shoes to wear with them, a giant chunky boot is still very, very on trend this year. You could definitely get away with something like this or a ballet flat. 
they're back whether people want to admit it or not this is a heeled version but you could also do a flat version potentially with a long trench style coat I think would look super cute and of course you know me I always love cardigan and a tank or a cardigan and a crop top moment I just think that that looks super adorable and I really like it on me so i'll continue to wear it whether it's trendy or not now one of the things with these leggings in particular and i'll have to show you once i take them off because i think it's really hard to see when they're on my body on the back all of the tag information was stamped into the leggings themselves and you can see it from the outside and a lot of people really didn't like that. I personally didn't mind. It doesn't matter to me, but I can see how that would be considered like a little bit sloppy. I'm hoping we will not see anything like that on this new and improved pair of leggings, but let's just try them on and see. So this is the new Bird's Papaya legging. From just putting it on, unfortunately, I really feel like I like the old style of these leggings better. So much so that I wonder if I might end up returning these, actually. So a couple of things about them. Number one, they are significantly tighter in the waistband. So if you are somebody that likes a large waistband that's gonna like hold you in at the tummy, this might be better for you. The old version did not have that. That also means that they're much harder to get on. In particular, I struggled getting them over my butt. Obviously they are on. They do fit, and this is the size medium, which is the same size as I got in the original leggings and the size that I was recommended in the size chart. Now, the bum lifting thing is, I think, my biggest issue with these leggings. And I don't know how much you'll be able to tell this on camera, but there are basically two tight sections, one on each side that runs like from up here down under your butt. And that's supposed to be providing like lift. I actually feel like it's making my bum look misshapen <laughs> versus like lifted. Like instead of my bum just being like big as it is and just like kind of hanging out, it looks like it comes up and then it is like a bump, like a weird bump right here. Almost like a muffin top, but with a butt if that makes any sense. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. It also feels kind of like weirdly tight right here, like right on my butt. I think if you were quite flat in the butt area, this might look good. It might help you feel more confident, help you feel like you've got a little bit of like a perkier booty. If you already have a large butt, I don't think that this is gonna work for you. It certainly does not feel like it works for me. I'm just gonna angle you down a little bit so that you can see what we're working with, but these leggings are definitely, you know, around the same length. They're slightly long on me, but I can bunch them a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. They fit okay other than the super tight butt. They are definitely a completely different material. So this is the original ones. They really are like a wet look leather. These almost look closer to the crackle leggings that I have from Airy, And I kind of like the extreme like leather look of the original ones. These are a little bit thinner. I think that they might feel maybe not cheaper, but a little bit less durable than these new and improved ones. But at least on me, <laughs> I think that the original ones did look better, unfortunately. So I've got to say I'm a little bit disappointed in the leggings. I was really hoping that I would love them. I loved the little photo shoots that they did, and I'll put a couple pictures here. Looked absolutely adorable. I love seeing those kind of like it out in the city style photos. I thought that they look gorgeous. These don't work for me. So I do think that I'm going to have to return them, which sucks, but you live and you learn. Like I said, if you are a little bit flatter in the butt area than me, and you feel like you usually like bum lifting things, you will probably really, really like these. They're just not my favorite. I also really don't like that you can see where that bum lifting thing is on the side. I much prefer my legging to just be like one consistent thing. 
I do also think as like one final comment, if you have a wide bum, I don't know how else to describe that. Like I, my bum comes out on the sides. Like I have wide hips, wide bum. These parts completely flatten it on the sides. So then it just looks really disproportionate. So not my favorite, but we're moving on. <laughs> now, next up we have the thigh savers. Now I have been considering buying these for years and years and years because I love wearing dresses. I wear a lot of dresses and I cannot stand chub rub. It is so painful. It feels awful. By the end of the night, you feel like you're like waddling when you walk. I just hate that. So I've always been interested in something like this, a little pair of nude shorts that I can wear underneath all my dresses. These ones are specifically made for this purpose. So they have like a super breathable gusset. All the material is made to like wick sweat away and not like have you sitting there feeling hot and uncomfortable. And I'll say from wearing them for a second, you would not get chub rub in this. These so far feel like there's no possible way that they're gonna roll up. They definitely come down far enough. Now I got the six inch ones. You can also get four inch if you're wearing like a much shorter dress and you don't want it to show. But for me, the six inch one is perfect. This glides against itself super, super easily. So you would not have to worry at all. And even though it's like tight, it does not feel like shapewear or anything in any way. I think I've made it very clear at this point that I hate being uncomfortable. So wearing shapewear shorts, like I own a pair of nude shaping shorts and I hate them. I never wear them because they're just too uncomfortable and I don't want to feel like my stomach and sides are being like squashed. I just wanna wear like my cute little comfy fall dress and also not get chubra. So these are perfect for me. And I need to cover the center because they're like a tiny bit sheer, which makes sense because like they're not underwear, but I didn't think to put underwear underneath them. And nor would I, like if I'm gonna wear a dress with these underneath, this is what I'm gonna wear, that's it. And you wouldn't, like if your dress blew up, you're not gonna see anything, but they come up quite high. So you don't have to worry about like having muffin top or something over top of them. And it's just like a very, very thin, thin seam both at the top and the bottom so you shouldn't be able to see it through clothing. Now I got a size medium. It fits perfectly comfy without being constricting, still staying in place, doing its job. So very, very happy with it. And I've got to say, I'm devastated about these papaya leggings. I truly thought that they were going to be amazing. I was ready for this video to be like a slam dunk about how much I love them, but they are just not for me and that's okay. And if you tried these and you loved them, definitely feel free to let me know in a comment down below. Or if you loved the original ones, let me know. I love those. I wear them all the time. I've been wearing them for years. And I was excited to have another pair, but it looks like it was too good to be true. So these will definitely be going back to NYX, unfortunately. Now that is everything that I have for you today. Like I said, definitely let me know, did you like the look of the new leggings better or the old ones? Obviously, I really prefer the old ones. I also don't love change that much. So it could just be a case of that, you know, me trying to like stick to the original thing. Also, if you're in the mood, let me know what you think is going to be like the biggest trend that you will not be following this fall. There have been a lot of trends happening like wild and fast lately. I think partially because of TikTok. We like see a trend, we do it, and then it's done and like on to the next thing. I do think that low rise jeans and low rise like skirts, especially like low rise satin skirts are going to be humongous this fall. I will not be wearing those. I cannot. It was hard enough for me to like get into a pair of low rise bikini bottoms again. I can tell you with 100% certainty that I will not be trying low rise jeans again. I remember them from when I was a kid. I hated feeling like my bum was gonna be out at any second, feeling the wind on your back and wondering if too much was showing. It was just, an uncomfortable time. I'll stick with high rise jeans, I think. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video. If you do enjoy seeing these no BS, 
very brutally honest reviews of new releases, of new brands, definitely be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below. I do release two videos every single week with most of those being brutally honest reviews. So if that is something that you're interested in, I would love for you to stick around. And thank you again for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you have a fantastic week and that you stay a little bit drier than we're staying in Ontario. It has been cold, miserable, just absolutely terrible weather for about a week and a half now. So stay warm and dry wherever you are, and I hope that I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.